We're a husband and wife team thrifting and picking. Sometimes it's a family affair. Sometimes we find the unusual, but if there's a profit to be made, we'll take it. And sometimes we just get darn lucky. So I hope you'll relax with us at some of our favorite places to visit along with some great food. The treasures are just waiting to be found. Hi, this is Fred and Wilma. <laughs> we're here at the thrift store and we're going to do a little shopping. Hey everyone, it's Debbie. And Marty. And uh, we're back at the thrift store and we're going to see what treasures we can find. What do you think we get started? Okay. Come on, let's go. After we get done thrift shopping, we're going to go over totals of what we paid and what we hope to list it for. Also, at the end of the video, relax with us we're on vacation, so you don't want to miss that. This is a pair of Skechers Shape Up shoes in the cart they went. We've started getting more and more into tennis shoes, and tennis shoes can bring you a lot of profit if you know what brands to pick up. And here's a pair of men's Levi sneakers, high tops, and I did go ahead and pick those up. You won't want to miss the haul portion because we picked up an excellent pair of men's running shoes. Stay tuned for that. This is a pair of BCBG Generation uh, heels or pumps and put those in the cart. And next we uh, have a pair of Banana Republic. I ended up putting these back. Um, the heels were a little messed up on them. If you enjoy our videos, please take a second to hit that subscribe button. Really helps us out a lot. And now let's see what Marty's up to. So around the corner I come to look at the media on the way to the carts and almost run into a countertop that's walking by. First thing I spot is a uh, set of audio Bible cassettes. These were only a dollar and they look to be pretty good. So I throw them into the cart. After dropping them in the cart, I spot some games. So I start filing through them to see if there's anything that's any good. And I noticed stuck down in the side is a baggie full of Nintendo games. So a quick look at them and said, yep, yeah, those are pretty good for two bucks. So I continue looking down the shelves and I spot some eight track tapes. I file through them. Eight track tapes can be very, very good things to find. Uh, these weren't so good, but you see on the side here, are some examples of the prices that the 8-track tapes are going for. The better ones are the older rock bands. They seem to do fantastic. Do you ever have one of those biblical moments? So maybe that's going to be a good sign. On this cart, I find a bag of uh, CPAP supplies. Those can, can do well. We don't really handle them. I should say, handle them. I put this in my cart, but later I realized that, you know, we could probably get a Vero out of this, so I had to take it back out. Uh, this pot is similar to one we had a few weeks ago, uh, but this one is a lot more scratched up, so we, we ended up putting it in the cart, but putting it back. This is a new candle holder. It didn't pique my interest, so I just kind of passed her by. This is the base for a Cook Street butter boat. Um, I noticed that the other piece of it is sitting there also. So I grab them and make sure they're fit and uh, go ahead and put that in the cart. Unusual set items like this can be a pretty good find. You just have to make sure that you have all the pieces. This is a set of cups and saucers and the manufacturer is uh, Ceramica Quadrifoglio. It was difficult to make out, so the only thing I could make out was Italy. So I put them in a cart and we were able to research them later and figure that out. Uh, we like to pick up Italian porcelain and this was a nice tray 
But on further inspection, we found a flaw in it, and so we just put it back. This next piece looked like uh, it was Italian, but it wasn't. But coming up is another bag of items. You have to take a look in these little bags because last trip here, I found a bag of Precious Moments miniature teapots. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and take a look at the last one. This is a Tremar from the UK glazed pottery steam engine. This looks like it could be a pretty good item. So I hustled that over to the cart for inspection later on. Oh, this owl was kind of cute, but, you know, who knows? It couldn't have been anything good. Uh, next was a, uh, a set of Mikasa, a creamer and sugar. Uh, these are items you always want to look up, and after a while you'll learn which ones are good and which ones aren't. Um, you'll see some examples here that show that a few of them are pretty high, highly priced, and they're good th items to pick up. And next, we're going to move on to the room that has the uh, electronics, tools, and lighting. Well, it looks like we got a little bit of a traffic jam here. This is a bag of Clorox bleach testers. They're dated 1985. Couldn't find anything like it, so we're going to get it and give it a try. Next, I come across this new-in-the-box security system. And right in front of it is what's called a PIR sensor. That goes with a security system. So I'll sell them separately. This is, security system is new in the box. And it looks like it's going to be a real good one. So I go around the corner and look at the electronics aisle to see what kind of items are there. I don't find anything. But if you guys see anything, let us know in the comments below. And I'll keep an eye out in the future. Okay, Debbie, take it away. I did spot this bag and thought it was a Whiting and Davis. If you ever see these and it is a Whiting and Davis, definitely pick them up, especially the older ones. They can uh, have a lot of value to them. This was a, a Buno, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, in the cart it went. Next, I moved over to the belts, and they keep some of their better belts in this little corner tucked out of the way. And I like the style and the design of this one. Went ahead and picked that up. It actually is an anthropology uh, belt. So stay to the hall to see what that's worth. And this is a fossil bag, brown leather. It does have a few years on it. The leather is very soft on it. So I did pick that up. Fossil sells really well for me. Uh, next to it was this Banana Republic black pebbled, pebbled leather bag. And I also went ahead and got that. There you can see the name in it. Coming up, an employee's dragging a stand and almost knocks it over, but she's okay. Oh, you okay? Do you need help? Okay, let's go back to Marty and see what he's picking up. Thanks, hon. This is a GoPro selfie stick. Uh, we picked that up because we're planning on buying a GoPro, so this will come in handy. Uh, here we have a, a Create a Sticker Machine. This looked like it was pretty interesting, so um, I just pulled it, pulled it off the shelf and put it in my cart. So I come around the corner here and I find this uh, iOmega Zip 100 USB drive. This is new but without a box. So this is a definite go into my cart. So now I come across one more cart. I kind of look through this and I grab this box here. This is a, uh, a Paycon 35 millimeter slide mounts. I also find a second box of them. The first box had 500, the second box had 100. They are sealed. Uh, anytime you find something that is a sealed box that is a specialty item like that, it is really worth taking the time to put it in your cart and look it up and see what it is worth. Also, I look at these uh, two red boxes. The big ones are Jeppe. They are also slide mounts. So I go ahead and grab those and then there's two more little boxes there that are also slide mounts. Uh, these all turn out to be very good items for us. Uh, right here, the audio is not real good. I was just explaining to Debbie 
that uh, I needed to take the time now and go through the cart and figure out what I wanted to buy and what I wanted to leave. I moseyed off to look at the china and spotted these vintage 1940s and 50s holiday cards, so I picked those up. Over in the china and porcelain, I spotted this antique flow blue dinner plate, and it was uh, signed Henry Alcock and Company, and these plates can be worth a lot of money. This one dated 1891 to 1900. Unfortunately, it had a chip on it, so I put it back. Next, I spotted these set of four Libby glasses. They are marked with the script L on the bottom. They were a really pretty iridescent blue, and I put those in my cart. Okay, Marty, back to you. Thanks, Debbie. Uh, I spot this hanging lamp, and actually there was two of these. So I called Debbie over to have her help me take a look at them to see just what we want to do with it. And somebody tries to steal my cart. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> Here you can see we're finally done shopping and we're checking out. The haul's up next, so let's go ahead and see what we got and what we paid for it. Our total cost of goods for this haul was $91.06. Our estimated total list price is $1,071. It's great that you can go into one store and come out with these kind of profits. It was a good day. Happy vacation. Look at him all smiles. <laughs> We're on our way down to Cincinnati, Dayton area. We're going to do a little sourcing, a little eating, and a little just running around. Here we are coming into beautiful Lebanon, Ohio. And Lebanon is also known for its many antique shops that are available for its visitors. There you can see the Golden Lamb. The Golden Lamb was established in 1803 for $4. Twelve different presidents have been here. Some of those presidents include John Quincy Adams, our sixth president, Ulysses S. Grant, our 18th president, Ronald Reagan, our 20, our 40th president, rather, and George W. Bush. They have also entertained or housed some other prominent figures, such as Neil Armstrong, Annie Oakley, Charles Dickens, and Mark Twain. Here we are walking into this beautiful inn. The inn currently has 22 rooms that are available for overnight stay, but you do have to keep in mind that there are no elevators. I can only imagine the conversation these walls have heard. We were actually on the top floor, uh, the fourth floor, and here we are coming into our room. We actually stayed in the Jeremiah Morrow room 
uh, which was the ninth governor of Ohio from 1771 to 1852. And here's a picture of him. Here we are coming into the dining areas. There are a couple different ones, including this beautiful bar area. We came down for a late lunch, so most of the lunch crowd had uh, gone already, and I had a late lunch. Marty, he seems to always have all the good stuff. This little photo op was Marty's idea. I actually thought it was hilarious. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, the treasures are just waiting to be found. Until we see you next time, Marty and Debbie.